friends and welcome to my channel Southern Yankee Beauty. Today we are going to create this look which you'll see better. It's kind of like a green soft green into a purple um, and I used a new palette that came in from my glossy box which is the Hidden Garden palette by Estate Cosmetics and you'll see I thought I had never tried this brand before but I was completely wrong. Let me bring it in and show you guys. This retails for $30, and we used all these shades, the T in the middle. We did not, oh, and I used this one. So I did not use this one or these two, but the rest of them we used in today's look. And I'm happy with it. I do feel like I, I added an addition of a uh, multi-chrome to this look between the two, you can kind of see it right there, between the green and the, and the purple. And that was needed. Um, these are very, very soft shadows. I do think you guys would like this if you're not, if you don't want something that's super like in your face sparkly, but they were smooth, they applied well. Um, I really did enjoy the palette. So that's fabulous. So um, I'm gonna get ready and show you some swatches and we'll see what you think. And then I also have the other one by Bailey Sarian. I don't know if you guys want to see any looks with that, but that's something we can play with as well. Cause that's a little bit more vibrant, a little bit of a brighter palette. Um, cause still kind of grungy, but it has some, it has some nice shades in it. So, um, but again, very, very happy, very happy with how this one performed. Just felt like it needed a little for me. And this is just personal taste a little bit more Bah, bah, boom like a little bit more sparkle so like I said I added this duochrome in between the two shades and I think that did what I needed it to do all right let's get into the swatches I got dogs barking for no reason all right the first color is where if I, is shroom and this is just like your typical skin tone shade creamy matte then we have the color Troll. This is a really nice transition shade. This is what I used on today's look. It is a mid-tone brown matte. Then we have Fairyland, which is a shimmer, and it is a champagne shimmer. Right there, okay. Then we have Elixir another shimmer and this one to me I think is more of a rose gold I haven't used this one yet yeah like a bronzy rose gold like almost like a terracotta it looks like then we have flora this is the green shade on the inner corner of my eye right there it's very soft sort of a soft let me go over that again like a soft mossy green but pretty and then we have um a manita I don't know what that is but it is a dark red shade there we go then we have charm which looks like your traditional bronze metallic beautiful then we have hidden garden this is sort of the berry purple that's on the outer end of uh, and it is a metallic it's a deep or deep plum and the final one we have is Alchemist, and this is a darker brown, and this will deepen your look along with that purple if you want a smoked out look, which is what we did today. So we have the, well, here you can see the purple, the little bit of the darker, the, and the green there. Uh, but there are all of the shades in this palette. I'm not the best swatcher, guys, so hopefully that is okay. And rubbing it away with nothing on it. This is a makeup eraser. You do say we do have some staining, but I'm sure if I used water and soap, it'd be fine. Although I think that red, that red one does stain stain. Like I think when I had it, I swatched it the other day and then it like stained my hand for two days. So just be careful of that shade. So, all right guys, let's go ahead and get into the fun and show you how we created this look. And I will have everything that I can link for you down below. Enjoy. Hello, hello friends. I still cannot find my setup that I have this like magnet that goes to the mirror. 
and it's really getting on my nerves <laughs> because I'm filming with like a contraption here. So anyway, what we're doing today, I already have my base done. I'm going to share with you what I already put on my face, but we are going to actually get into a palette that came in Glossy Box, the new Hidden Garden palette. We're going to play with this. We're going to do swatches. I'm going to share a little bit of information with you guys. Um, I didn't think I had tried Estate Cosmetics before. I was wrong. I have tried this little four pack here. Uh, this one is called Peach Punch right here. This one I wasn't super impressed with, to be completely transparent with you. Really didn't like the quality of that. However, I also had tried this one by, by Bailey Sarian before. This is the Venice Fling. Sorry, there's a, I don't know how I did it, but there's a it's like muting my background um, or fuzzing it out. So anyway, Venus Fling. This is the one I've done before. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm almost tempted to kind of like mix both both palettes for you guys, but I wanna I wanna actually just get into this eye look here. Um, I don't have any blush on just yet. We will put blush on, but so okay. So on my uh, face so far, I have the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place foundation. This stuff, absolutely amazing. You will love it. Um, it stays all day. And then I do have the Shiseido um, concealer on, which is in the color I can't see. I can't see. 102, I think. 102 fair is what it is. I think I need reading glasses. All right. And then on my cheeks or on my face, um, I have this powder over all of my face. This is the Bare Minerals Foundation Powder in Light 25 Warm. Yep, it's a powder foundation. So I put that over the liquid foundation just to sort of set everything. And then on my cheek leaks, I have the Ciate London uh, bronzer in the color, ba the bamboo bronzer. So in fact, I'm just going to put a little bit more because I feel like I lost a little of that with um, all the powder. I actually have a brightening powder at the very end that will also do. I think this will stay, um, I think this is going to stay all day because it just feels like it's solid, you know. On my lips, I have a lip liner. Is this the right one? Yeah. This is the color Bel Air from Gerard Cosmetics. And then I have the color Lavish 410. This is one of the Lux Trance Lipsticks by Pat McGrath. And it's like a really nice, like dark nude. Love it, love it, love it. I might put a glitter on top as well. We'll see what happens with the eye look. Um, I don't have blush on yet or eyelashes or any of that. We're going to put that on at the end. But we're going to get into this palette and go ahead and get our eye look going. So here's what the palette looks like. And you have nine shades. And I believe this retails for $30. You're going to hear the details in the beginning and you'll have seen um, swatch. All right, we're going to get started with the color Troll right here. I'm going to take my Ruffer, let's see what, Ruffer 27 brush. I'm going to bring you guys in, tilt you up a little bit. And actually, let's put a primer on our lids first. We're going to use our MAC Paint Pot. And we're going to prime these up a little bit. I always feel like my eyes look so much drier when I use this, this MAC Paint Pot. Um, but then, like, later, when I first do my eye makeup, but then later in the day, like, when the oils sit in, it really holds my eyeshadow on. It looks better. So I just put up with it of how it's going to look at first. But definitely helps keep everything sticking to your eye and keep your shadow lasting longer. All right, so now we're going to go into the color troll and we're going to use the 27 and I'm going to look down and I'm going to hopefully be in the viewfinder for you. Now I'm going to give you some information about this palette. I'm excited to try this and work with it. 
see what we come up with. I have an idea. It's going to be a purpley green look. Well, that blended beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. I'm just going to put a little bit more in the crease. Let's see if we can build it up a little bit. It's a very light shade. Good shade. I mean, it's going to be good for like medium skin. Uh, and I think light skin. Don't know that this would do much on somebody with dark skin. Um, I'm just going to just brush over the sides just a little bit. Sort of feather them out. All right, now I'm going to go into the darker one called Alchemist down here. And I'm going in this one with a smaller blending brush, the Refer 15. And we're going to concentrate that right here on the end and in the corner. And just deepen and smoke it out. Got a big day of cleaning and washing all the animals today. Cleaning laundry and bedding. And I'm going to be glammed out while I'm doing it. All right, so that definitely added some depth. You can see I don't have it here, and I have it here. All right, now we're going into this purple shade called Hidden Garden. I'm using a flatter brush, still a blending brush. Um, this is a blender from Beauty Pie, but it's a little flatter, and I think it'll pick up, hopefully, this shimmer shade to put on, like, the outer half of the eye. Not a very shiny. It is a metallic. It's very soft. It doesn't have a lot of like sparkle anywhere on it. And we might add some additional sparkle into this look with some something else I found that I'm being curious to get into and play with. And I think it'll actually transform our look. But this is a pretty shade. It definitely is a nice plum shade. I'm just going right into the crease here. That's where we're at so far. You can see that pretty purple. Okay, so for the inside corner, I think I'm going to go ahead and lay a cut crease if I can find the right um, tool. Hold on one second. shimmer shade but um, the green shade in here but I'm going to I think wet it I think that's what we're gonna do so it's called flora the green shade right in the middle there let me see if I can find something to wet it with We are going to get that blend better with that purple. We're going to go back over it. I just want to lay this down. Yeah, these are soft shadows. They don't, they have good pigment, but they don't have fabulous shine. I, they've got a very, very soft, soft shine, which is fine. I think a lot of people would actually like this because some people don't like a ton of like sparkle, especially um, if you are, if you have really wrinkly, like aging skin, then this is probably going to be a formula that you would like. 
I mean, I have aging skin too, but I just kind of happen to love all the sparkle. I mean, it's got some sparkle. It's not bad. It's just not got what I would want, so I'm going to add more. <laughs> all right, I'm going to take the other side of this and just move in with that purple again. And what's going to really bring this together, I think, is the glitter that I'm about to put on. What you do when you have two colors like this, you just go back and forth between the green side. i got to let a dog out. The green side and the purple side, and it'll mix it a little bit nicer. So that's, that's what we got, which you can see it better here than on this side. I think it's just the lighting. Um, but that is what we got so far. All right, I wanted to use this shade the other day, and I didn't, this purple. So I'm going to go in with that purple right in between those two shades. And I think it'll give a really interesting highlight to the eye because it's a duochrome. Oh, yes, just what it needed. Oh, just what it needed. That's beautiful. All right. That's perfect. It's got like a green and purple in it. Okay. Good, okay, good, 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 good. Now we have our under eye, la our bottom lash to do, and our inner corner. So for the bottom lash, we're going to start with the same color that we originally started with, the troll color. We'll just lay a light, light brown shade down. This is a pretty shade, and it works really nice. I feel like I always have like remainder on my face from the night before, even though I washed my face. I still have a little liner. I think it must be waterproof because I even cleaned it twice and just I can't get it all off. All right, so there's that. The purple shade on the, this is a rougher 28 on the bottom here. I feel like this might have a little fallout. Now, just like we did, I'm going to use that other Danessa Murek shade, which is called Aurora, by the way, that purpley shade on the bottom. And marry those two. Get a beautiful shade from Danessa Murek's. It's really creamy and pigmented. Staying with the same brush, I'm just going to wipe it off. I'm actually going to go in a little different um, with the color Martian, uh, which is right here. It's like a greeny, green-blue. Give a little pop. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is so pretty. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, back into this palette. We're going to take the color Fairyland right here, which is a, like a champagne color, and we're going to pop that up here. on um, these are the shade the kind hybrid and they are from winsome lash which my friend Amanda gave me uh, she sent these to me so um, I went ahead and put them on they're beautiful they kind of flare up out 
on the ends they're still drying which is great because it kind of opens your eyes up a little bit i'm going to go in with um a little bit more bronzer um this is from jacqueline hill and we're going to get the bronzed up a little bit more and then i'm going to just stay with her um this is in the shade pink me up and oh honey And we'll use one of the highlighters and um, as a topper on from Domestic Numerics. I'm going to put a regular highlight on first and then I'm just going to put a little sprinkle because it's mostly glitter. But it's, it's, they've got, I think we've got pink, green, gold, and blue. Love that. That looks good. Okay. Now, regular highlighter. We can go in with this one, the Molten Glow from Jouer, because it's, I'm getting ready to throw it out. It's all broken up. It's just one of my favorites, so it makes me so sad. Look at that beautiful glow. Oh, so, so pretty. So beautiful. All right, going into the Danessa Murex, let's go into Strawberry Moon, which is, you can kind of see it on here. It's like pink. Oh, definitely, definitely a little bit too much pink there, uh, which is, we're gonna powder over a little bit with the pink powder that I got want to use. So that will tone it down a little bit. Still very pretty. Shows a lot of texture, um, quite a bit of texture. But I'm gonna use this pink powder from Becca and we are going to soften things up. This is a brightening powder and a setting powder. See, we're not getting rid of that, we're just softening it there we go so this just in case you want to know this Becca powder is called soft light blurring powder in pink haze I don't know if this is still available because Becca was purchased and I don't know what they kept and what they got rid of so um, the last thing I've got to do is my hair and then we are done um, so I need to go in the bathroom and fix this and get this so that it's kind of coming in a little bit and brush it. But good enough for now. But there's the, there is the finished eye look and uh, looks like I got something. Yeah, see this part right here, it's sticky and it just won't, I don't know why it won't stay on my eye. Hopefully it does. Okay, but anyway, here we go. I think it came out really pretty. Yeah, I'm very happy with the eyes except for this eyelash. So I'm hoping this eyelash eventually starts to stick because it's got a lot of tack. It's just being a butt. Um, all right, so stay tuned for my final thoughts on using the new Hidden Garden palette.